black people are uh, treated very much as uh, the Vietnamese people. All those riots are causing my life to be miserable in all areas, you know. Naturally, the NLF is a people that are liberating the farmers and the plains people from the oppressive South Vietnamese government. So naturally, they're going to be the ones that the people support. Third World Newsreel was established as the Newsreel in 1967. And it was at the height of political turmoil, both in the United States and around the world. And there was a growing protest movement. You have the Black Panther Party, the Young Lords Party, you have growth in the Asian American movements, Native American movements, and the women's movement. And all these things are happening, but mainstream media were only showing a very skewed version of what was going on in the country at the time. And a lot of independent filmmakers who were already progressive activist filmmakers gathered and they created a political film collective. Being in Newsreel was, it was exciting because we were in touch with everything that was going on. You know, we, we knew the Black Panther Party, you know. We met people, had relationships with them, with the Young Lords, with the Squatters Movement, you know, with whatever was going on. It was a very special thing. Be so close to people that were actually involved in struggle. Juan Miguel. Milagro, all die yesterday and will die again tomorrow. That machine gun, <laughs> there was newsreel, and it shook me. I was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? And ever since that time, I was like, whoa. Third knows Third World Newsreel was something amazing. It, it really hit me. The style it was the, the style of the film. And, but more than that, the subject matter. I had never seen a film or a documentary before talking about real life issues, but also having subjects who are just like real people. They want actors. You ready? Go ahead. The city just bought a new car for the politician, Mayor Beam, making a family salary. He has to ride on a new car. Put him on the subway and let him know how the poor man is doing. Right? You understand? Put him on the subway. Yeah. That we all have the same problem in terms of wanting to control the woman, okay? With the change of the Third World Newsreel, people of color became in charge of the organization, and the focus was to prioritize media by and about people of color and social justice issues. The organization continued to make films, educational distribution, and they started training emerging filmmakers, primarily those of color and from other marginalized communities who otherwise would not be able to afford a film school or get a formal training in production. And them fellas knit body. One of the things I loved about it, I mean, it's just so educational, right? I mean, that's what they do. Um, but there's this assumption that the education like flows outward, you know? But I very much absorb tons and tons of things and I just felt like I was not only doing something for a good cause, but just enriching myself personally by working there. To me, what makes the World Newsreel so important is that it serves as this movement repository of, of knowledge. That's why, you know, that's why I'm here tonight. That's what brings me to the World Newsreel, and that's why I really enjoy it. So I really wanted to take it out onto the street and use the prisons to have something. We have an intensive production workshop that runs six months. We also run evening seminars in the fall and spring, which are free drop-in seminars on various production topics, where again, we focus on uh, directors and technicians of color. Um, and we also do a series of community media workshops where we partner with different community groups. So we've been doing a lot of different training workshops. What we're really proud of is how many filmmakers have come out of this organization, as tiny and as low budget as it is, to make really great progressive films and to continue to do that work throughout their lives. Um, we have people who've been nominated for Oscars, Emmys, all this kind of thing, who are making films that actually make you think about how things should be changed. And more importantly, that I'm still that silly, goofy child of yours.
we need to diversify the voices that we hear and see in the media. And that everyone has a story that has to be told. And most of us have been left out of history books. And so we're trying to rectify that. The core concept of this organization has always been that society and the world has to change and we have the power to change it. And one of the methods by which we'll change it is by inspiring people, instigating people into action through the films that we make and that we distribute. Don't believe what they're saying, watch what they do.